Hey baddies, it's your girl Bevy answering your questions in the comments. This question from a baddie is, are there ways to induce angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels at the scalp in order to improve circulation? What are the top five actions you recommend to improve circulation to the scalp? <laughs> I mean, first and foremost, <laughs> I'm like, I feel so honored that you guys think that I'm like a whole scientist, doctor, professional. Like I didn't miss my calling, maybe, who knows? I, I should go back to school to be a nurse practitioner or something. But anyway, I can still answer this question. So angiogenesis really quickly is basically helping you form new blood vessels, right? And this specific concern in on the scalp, et cetera, right? To help you increase blood circulation. Also another process called vasodilation. Vasodilation specifically is to enlarge your current blood vessels so that you can get more blood flow through the scalp. They're both a little different, but the same. So the mechanism of action is different for both angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels and vasodilation, which is pretty much widening your existing blood vessels to allow more blood flow. The mechanism of action is different, but the outcome is the same for hair growth specifically. This is what we're talking about because this is a process that's throughout the body. But if we're talking about for the follicle, this is to stimulate hair growth, right? Blood flow to the follicles to stimulate hair growth. So basically there's a couple of things you can do to treat both, right? Because they're both different for different things, but why not induce both, right? The formation of new follicles and increasing your existing blood flow. And the way that we do this really quickly is there's topical treatments like minoxidil that's clinically proven to increase or enlarge your blood vessels. You can also use topical treatments like <laughs> the hair scripts, medicated hair growth serums, which do also have angiogenesis and vasodilating properties, okay? You can also do a good old scalp massage for my more natural girls just wants to stimulate the blood flow the scalp massage is definitely going to widen and vasodilate the existing blood vessels stimulate the blood flow really quickly and I should have said this the reason why blood flow is so important at the end of the day to the hair follicle is because it's allowing not only oxygen to get to that so it's allowing the follicle to get oxygen it's improving the cellular function of the follicle but it's delivering key nutrients to the follicle follicles to ensure that your follicles grow, your follicles are being fed, right? Because just like other cells, they're being fed. All that to say, your body is naturally going to take all those key nutrients and feed the most important parts of your body first, like your organs, etc. Things like your hair and your extremities, like your nails are going to suffer the most because your body or the blood, the vessels that are delivering this blood, right? Doesn't feel that that's the most important to keep you alive. We need to keep you alive. That's our main goal. So that's why if you're already defeated, efficient in nutrients, you're going to, without a shadow of a doubt, start experiencing shedding. Your hair will start to thin because your blood vessels are not, they're not dilating, they're not getting circulation, they're not getting oxygen, they're suffocating. Your follicles are suffocating, they're going to die, they're going to suffocate to death. So that is why this process of angiogenesis, more specifically vasodilation, is important. Other things are obviously dietary improvements. I just kind of mentioned this. You want to do things, you want a diet that's adequate in iron zinc, vitamin D, vitamin Bs, because this is gonna help with your overall blood flow. It's gonna help stimulate that blood flow. It's gonna help with the vasodilation, but those are the key nutrients that you need for hair growth anyway. And then there's something, not new, but it's in the market. It's low level laser therapy. iRestore is a brand, but this is really good to stim stimulate both angiogenesis and vasodilation to the scalp. There is limited research, more research is needed, but there's so many benefits for the iRestore. I have a whole video on that. Go check that out. It's definitely worth getting an eye restore and adding it to your arsenal, okay? So here is another baddie question, which I think is beneficial for everyone to know. So she said, hair is thinning in the front and diagnosed with iron deficiency anemia. Trying to figure out how to incorporate all the things, serum, supplements, topicals, etc. What's the right order to introduce these so you know what's working and not doing too much? Excellent, excellent, excellent question, baddie. Thank you so much. First and foremost, my first order of business whenever you're diagnosed with anything or anything is you need to seek help from not only your primary care physician but from a dermatologist so that they can do a scalp evaluation figure out exactly what's going on with you what type of hair loss you have is it inflammatory is it alopecia is it a result of something underlying right obviously so I would start off with that I know that I drop a ton of strategies on this channel I, t I talk to you guys about 99 million ways to do things 
percent of those are things that I've done. And then I do research on new cutting edge things that are coming out, ingredients, clinical studies, et cetera, et cetera, different modalities of treatments, et cetera. The first thing that you need to understand is that it don't take one way to lose hair and it's gonna take several ways to grow it back. Hair growth takes a multifactorial approach, meaning that you have to attack it from so many different ways, right? You can't just say, I'm taking these vitamins and it's not working. You can't say, I'm just using this serum, AKA topical and it's not working. You can't say I'm doing PRP and it's not working. You can't say I'm eating more protein, I'm eating more nutrients and it's not working. You have to mix all of those and then some, right? Then you have to go into hygiene. You gotta go into how you actually taking care of the hair that is currently on your head. It can be consuming. And what I love about this baddie is that she understands that it takes a multifactorial approach to grow hair. And she also understands that there are so many different things to do. How do I know what's working and not working? That's why it's so important to work with a practitioner who is going to handhold, hold your hand through the entire process and is going to be able to eliminate, okay, well, if this is causing this, then let's remove that. If this is not working for you after three to six months, then let's try this. You know, what are you currently on? What medications? We don't wanna do this because it can interact. I don't recommend going at this alone. I didn't go at this alone, right? Everything that I'm telling you guys, I'm sharing game for free, but also at the same time, I did work with the dream team. Go check out my hair loss story, hair growth story, whatever I call it, the most recent one where I go specifically into the type of hair loss that I have, that I was diagnosed with, the doctors that I worked with, how we all kind of work together to help me formulate like the most customized hair growth plan that was specific to me and specific to my hair loss needs and my hair loss concerns. Honestly, I didn't really start addressing my hair loss until I addressed the actual underlying health conditions and health concerns that I had. And so my recommendation is schedule an appointment with a dermatologist today. The other thing is, of course, because I have to plug it in, is the Hair Scripts Hair Growth Medicated Serums. Let me explain this. Hair Scripts is not just a hair growth serum. It is an online hair loss clinic. And so the serums are prescriptions that you'll get from taking the assessment online. We're removing the barriers to access like insurance and doctors, all the things that unfortunately us, we don't necessarily have the best access to. And that's why we don't have access to these cutting edge treatments and solutions for hair loss. So I'm giving you guys access to these treatments and solutions and I'm removing all the access barriers, right? So Hair Scripts is an online hair loss clinic. That's what it is that you can visit from the comfort of your home. We are launching with our first product, which is the serum. Not exactly the product, but it's just the first modality that we're giving you access to before we start giving you guys access to other modalities. That's what that is. So please, you know, go see a dermatologist first, go on the Hair Scripts website when we launch, take your scalp and health assessment to see where you fall, see if you qualify for the prescription. And when you work with hair scripts, you also get the hand holding. We monitor your progress. We see if it's working. And then of course, we're going to launch with other modalities that you can include in your hair loss or hair growth regimen. Anyway, baddies, I'm trying my best to make these videos shorter, but jam packed with information. Thank you, baddie, for that question. And yeah, that is the best way to stimulate hair growth and to stimulate angiogenesis and vasodilation. So like, like I mentioned, put your information down below because the Hair Scripts Medicated Hair Growth Serums can do both, okay? Love you, baddie. Bye.